Hey up now then folks, in this video I'm going to have a go at fixing this McCormick B450's hydraulic problem. But before that let me show you, or recap, what I've done so far with this tired hard girl. I got burnt when I first bought this tractor. With inexperience, just assuming this hard girl would just work due to the high standards of International Harvester. However, this particular British built Doncaster donkey was imported to France where it spent its working life, which has been rather tough for it. And in so I've come across so many knackered or missing parts which I found are hard to come by. So here we have a, a proper tractor here parked up. Robert wished he could have one of these but he never did. But so far we're prevailing through it by solving various things such as the bent rocker arm, the fuel filters that were absolutely bunged up, the stuck injector pump, the seeds clutch and the steering box bearings that had just disintegrated. Here we have Robert coming back from the Providence. Been there all afternoon, boozed up on the tractor. Don't know where he is, can't drive in a straight line. So the first thing I removed was the barbed wire wrapped between the left lifting arm and the oil reservoir underneath the seat pan. I then removed the lifting lever to inspect it but didn't really know what I was looking for. The other job I thought I wanted to do was replacing the piston seal on the hydraulic ram as the farm hole drops fairly quickly if not locked off. As I've been pointing out here I had to remove the gear stick to get out that front plate to get it off. I had to stand on this big spanner to get them to come off because they're that they were tight. These are proper tight. Every other bolt's been not so bad to do. I think this is a Inch and eighth. It's big. You can hear it. You can see it pushing when it's when arms go down. Let's have a look in here. Why won't they go back up? Oh. See what's happening. Oh, got it. Bloody steering box off. I only just fitted that. Oh, what? Oh, I don't believe this. In this video you might just see a block of wood underneath the fuel tank. I didn't mention it but when I did the steering box I used the same bit of wood and I slackened the two bolts nearest the engine side and then removed the bolt completely where the steering rack was so that I could remove it out and hold the fuel tank in place without having to remove it simplifying life. I think we have to take it completely out. Try cockling steering. Uh, I've got steering box out now. So if I take you on a little journey inside the oil reservoir underneath the seat pan we can see the piston, well the ram that attaches to the piston into the oil there and the tubular bar is what goes and joins onto um, the lifting arms at either end with the um, like splines on. So all it does is just the piston pushes that bar uh, to the back of the tractor and as that does that it lifts the arm up. So that's the like receiving end. So in this little uh, part book on this page, and I was just looking at that thing separating from that thing. So after seeing that diagram in the book, I half thought that I didn't need to pull that long tube out. All I had to do was take the top cover off and uh, lift the hydraulic arms up and it would push that piston out, which I tried to do on the farm all, and there just wasn't enough travel on the arms to get that piston to pop out, to even, to even get a hold of it to try and pull it. So I think you have to do, I think you do have to remove this great big long tube out of the um, housing to get that out to do it. The other thing I might add is the piston pops out from the front where we're looking there, not from the back, as there's a ring on the back to stop it going into the olive, olive, oil reservoir. After finding me um, slingshot pliers, managed to get that off and change that washer. It is quite flat, but the new one's a lot more stuck out, less worn I suppose. I'm just going to change this o-ring that's on here next. 
doesn't look like it's a big job to do. I'll probably do it on another tractor, quite simple. How wrong I was. This is on the Farmall B450. As you can see, the steering column going up to a steering wheel. Um, I've put the bolt back in to hold that tube back in place so that I can hopefully push the piston out by lifting the hydraulic arms, but that didn't work. So the bolts are taken out of that steering column so that I can move it over to a side by slackening the fuel tank to get the piston holder out. So if we move back to the McCormick B450, as we can see, got the piston and the sleeve and all that plate put back on there, but not the lifting lever. I've decided to take the pipes off to get to the pump. The pump goes in the house in there. I think we might have found the problem. That's um, detached from the shaft. Or bust off. Not long after diagnosing the problem of the pump, Alistair Broadwith told me about a B450 for spares that John Crowder had for sale. And after looking at the pictures, I decided I wanted more than just the pump off of it and bought what was left. However, it took eight months to get the thing gathered up, but in return, they all received an Andy Fabs woolly hat. So, ladies and gentlemen, what have we bought? Bought a third B450. And as you can see, there's not a lot actually on it. Quite a few bits gone already. Oh, put that injector there then. Um, yeah, not a lot on it. But I was really, the only reason I really first wanted it was for the hydraulic pump. That looks like oil dipstick's gone and out. Um, and the other thing that I saw was on it was the back back top link that's disappeared that's back in shed now and then this arm this arm's a little bit different to what i've got so i might see if i can pinch it or make it fit i don't know and the guide as well looks as though from what john said it's been um, a foreign one that's why paint works so good and it's comes with a foot throttle whether we ought to fit that again or not i don't know probably doesn't need it maybe more effort than it's worth Yeah, so if you need any other bits for a B450. Shame someone's cut the uh, back axle shafts off. Anyway, I've just come to take that pump. I'm going to take that pump off now and have a look at that because I might even pinch the uh, gear inside of there if it's decent. Yeah. Them teeth don't look so bad, but I suppose if it hasn't been rattling around, it should be. Yeah, I think these teeth are all right as well. It's fastened on. Now I've got my bracket to match that one after this one's been butchered. I think we'll have to cut it off there. And the bolt under there, so I'll have to take PTO guard on it to get that off. So even having to get this makeshift um, French push pull bracket, I had to cut a little slot in the bottom of it to get that bolt out. And there she is fitted. Gasket paper med. It's just landed right for you to show you there. Look at that, that is nasty. I think there might even be one further up. So I've got my gasket cut, I want a bit of grease. I've got a new hose to go on that filter. I haven't cleaned that filter yet, so I'll have to clean that. And then that pipe's on floor to bolt back on. And once that pipe's on, then I think I can put the gearbox back in, the gear lever back in there. I won't waste your time showing you the faffing about I did with the original lifting lever as I couldn't make out of it. So we'll skip to the bit where I used the salvage lift dam which was only missing the ball on the very end and it worked straight away. I don't know why they come up on their own. So that's in lower position. If you push against them, they will go down. It'll hold if you hold it in hold position. Not sure if I should have started with this, but the hydraulic arms were one of the first things I gathered up around about the same time I got that B142 plough. However, I'm still missing that top knuckle, which I've just pointed out there. And I believe the arms were misrepresented as uh, B614 arms, not B450. However, they are much different. The hydraulic arms themselves are about two inches shorter. Um, and I'll find out something else later. But
but the top knuckles are two and a half inches wide and the three quarter pins that go inside um, so they're nothing like a B275 before anybody mentions that because the amount of folks that think they are they're not and that's it hitched up there look So half the reason I was having a mare at um, Rulin's ploughing match is because I found out these are way longer than on the farm hall. And that's because I think these arms are definitely off a 614. Hopefully I'll be able to marry this video up with something from another show. So if we take notice of these arms, they're also about two inches shorter there. And that arrangement looks like of a 614 slash a 634. Whereas this is the... B450 arrangement like that but someone's welded an extra plate on the right hand side I think there's mostly you only see one plate welded uh, more, one plate welded and bolted um, however the arms the arms that, that rise up and down look very similar but as you can see there they're shorter so I've taken this one off of here look which has been abused um, and welded up so you can't wind that one out. I don't know why that's been welded in there. These are the pins that Andrew's made us. Well, yeah, I cut them down and it's recycled um, baler shaft. So them shafts were off the baler on the, the thumper, the thumping unit. It had worn that much and the, it didn't, to be fair, it didn't make a lot of difference really. Um, so that's the original, however, he hasn't drilled them like I thought he would have done. I made him just a little bit longer maybe, and he's drilled them on out, out, outside edges there, look. So they are, so they're maybe half an inch longer, but I think they're going to be better than they were because the uh, ones on them, if you look, there are four and a half inches difference between, the, between this one and the other one. So that should make it a lot better there to there so i'll try putting these in for a mother bees which is tomorrow and then we'll try and get plow yoked on and see what that does but hopefully that should do it and then we can finish this video off of the uh, fixing the hydraulics also do you like my lever snake and golf club look glued that on there because it was a bit sharp if, if i didn't have out the other thing i maybe should have had um it was mentioned in another video that this, the farm all done about eight thousand hours which is what it does to your pins on your hydraulics. <laughs> That's fairly worn, is that, innit? May need a fresh pin for this back end. Look at the difference that has made from putting the short one on the winding arm. That's fully wound up, is that arm now? Look at that. It's about kissing floor. So we change the other one. There's a lot of difference, isn't there? Hey, she's struggling to lift it up now. <laughs> So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped somebody else with a B450 with hydraulic problems. Uh, the links I'm going to leave at the end of this video are going to be probably a Mother B Young Farmers ploughing match, Rillet Young Farmers ploughing match, uh, this tractor having a go at ploughing, and maybe even a playlist of all the things I've done to fix this tractor. Oh dear, <laughs> schoolboy error. Master.